Instead of paying almost four bucks for gas, how would you like to run your car on salt water? Now, it may sound crazy, but wait until you see what a local inventor has come up with that could change the world. And as Channel 3's Michael Mara shows us, that's not all he's trying to do. It first started in 1967 when I found out that uh, I had not uh, gotten the big picture, even though I thought that I, uh, I had it together. I just didn't have the complete pieces of the picture. This is a, a giant geopsychopolitical picture, and um, things are happening with the use of subliminal, indirect, and reverse psychological propaganda. Uh, it's made to be confusing by the evil arty that uh, controls not only the United States but Britain. This Illuminati, this group who called themselves the Enlightened Ones, had gained positions of power through control of the banking system. You have enough in there? His machine could actually burn salt water. John Kansas discovered that his radio frequency generator could release the oxygen and hydrogen from salt water and create an incredibly intense flame. Just like that. If that was inside a car cylinder, you could see the amount of fire that would be in the cylinder. I can put my hand in here. Put your hand into the beam, nothing happens. Put in a fluorescent bulb and it lights up immediately. At the APV Company Laboratory in Akron, top engineers have checked out John's amazing invention and they were amazed. And we saw it go up to 1500 degrees centigrade, the temperature, and it, it's, it's incredible. This simple Stirling engine is running with the heat generated by the flames coming off that test tube. The fuel, nothing more than salt water. Well, that could be a steam engine, uh, a steam turbine. Could be a car engine if you wanted it to be. Um, on the back of the dollar bill, you'll see the symbol on the left-hand side of the bill, which is uh, Anuit Coeptus, which means our enterprise is now a success, or our enterprise is crowned with success. Anuit Coeptus. So you're saying, fine, so you have an enterprise and it's now crowned with success. What enterprise are you talking about? Novas Ordo Seclorum. Novas is novas, meaning new. Ordo is order, and seclorum is where we get the word secular, meaning the world. So it's new order of the world, the new world order. George Bush's new world order is now a success. Bill, you've heard an awful lot of dramatic speeches and seen dramatic moments in times of great gravity for the nation. How would you assess this evening? This was a stirring address, in my view, shorter than his father's speech when he announced the new world order, shorter than his father's speech when he announced the new world order. <laughs> Thank you.
this is uh, the most abundant uh, element uh, in the world, water. And salt water is everywhere. Uh, and to see it burn uh, actually gives me chills.